previous Total War titles had a weather system in place. We're trying to improve that for Total War Faro by including a dynamic weather change during battle. There are a few different types of weather, rain, fog, storm, thunderstorm, sandstorm, and sweltering weather. Different types will each have a different gameplay effect and they won't only change the environment of the battle, they will also change the terrain. For example, a uh, rain or storm will create patches of mud on specific places on the battlefield, which the player will have to deal with. So introducing dynamic weather and dynamic terrain change will force players to adapt to the new battle conditions. A good general must adapt their army and their strategy depending on the ever-evolving battlefields. Fighting in the desert is it's really hard, it's, it's hot, it's arid, and that's why the Egyptians wore lighter armors. You will see in the game that uh, units with lighter armors have an advantage over, let's say, a unit with a medium or heavy armor. Units with light armor have less penalties, traversing sand, whilst, let's say, a heavy unit would have a really tough time just going from point A to point B in sand. Another thing that could happen in a desert is a sandstorm could swoop in and just make everything even worse than it already is. So a sandstorm is a bad place to be generally, but a clever general can use it to their advantage. Let's say you want to hide your units away. You can flank in the, in the sandstorm while the enemy's vision is lowered. We can't make Bronze Age battles with Egyptians or Hittites without having chariots in them. The Egyptians tended to prefer lighter chariots, while the Hittites tended to prefer heavier chariots. The Egyptians mostly used them as skirmisher units, while the Hittites used them both as skirmishers or melee chariots, where they charged at the enemy, breaking their formations. We have a few different types of chariots, light, medium and heavy chariots. And there's also two uses for them. They can be used as skirmishers or mini chariots with spears. We've tried to improve chariots by increasing their unit sizes and making them a bit more maneuverable. So that will help the player use them correctly. But at the same time, we've increased penalties chariots in different terrain types. Heavy chariots will bog down really quickly in mud or sand, making them easy targets for the enemy. Chariots will be extremely powerful, but mismanaging them or bringing wrong chariots to the specific battlefield will have disastrous effects for your economy. Well, Ancient Legacy in Total of Pharaoh allows the player to follow in the footsteps of the greatest rulers that these two empires had to do as they did and accomplish the awesome things that they did before them. The starting point that we wanted to create the ultimate sandbox, the fitting for, for a game in Egypt, but we wanted to allow the player to play their way because faction mechanics have this quality where once you pick a faction, some rules are set, some rules are defined, and we wanted to spice that up by making faction mechanics choosable. That allows for a lot more variance in playthroughs. We wanted to focus not only on, on Egyptians, but on all of the different cultures in the Bronze Age world at the time. Yes, the game is called Total War Pharaoh, but the Hittite Empire in Anatolia has a very long history of them rising to power, at some point rivaling that of Egypt, and it was feasible that Hittites maybe could conquer Egypt at some point if they attacked. And also the land connection between Anatolia and Egypt is the coastline of Canaan, where multiple Canaanite factions exist and they have their own culture. We have two playable Canaanite factions. Each of them can enter either empire, for example, enter the world of Egypt, rise in power there, and then experience ancient legacy as if they started in the heart of Egypt itself. We want to, to make mechanics that the player can start their campaign, they can start playing with their faction, and when they see how it's going, they can choose what very epic thing they want to do. In Total War Pharaoh, the Royal Decrees are a feature that will be easy to recognize by any Total War player out there. These are the technologies. Royal Decrees take a few turns, to get unlocked once you selected them, and they provide you with various bonuses and various gameplay options. They might make your units stronger, they might improve your economy, they can make your buildings cheaper or more quicker to construct, and also grant you additional slots for the gods that you want to worship in local deities. 